everybody welcome to this channel mr bad boy here i'm back always back with another reaction video so today we got this video was recommended somebody in the comment told me to react to this uh, russian police arrest thousands in second week of the protest so we they have some kind of protest in russia i don't know what they are protesting for but uh, I've seen these days a lot of protests going on in Russia, but uh, I don't know what happened, what's going on. So we're going to check this video to understand what's going on there. I hope it's a good thing. We begin in Russia, where over 3,000 people have been Thousands of de detainees in second week of, week of Russia protest. protest. Of opposition figure Alexei Navalny. The greatest oh. number of detentions so far have been reported in the capital, Moscow, where many demonstrators gathered near the prison where Navalny is being held. But protests have been taking place across many time zones this Sunday, from Siberia in the east to St. Peter's, St. Petersburg in the west. Navalny was arrested earlier this month on his return to Russia from Germany, where he spent five months recovering from an attempt to kill him with a nerve agent. Week two of the opposition's challenge to Vladimir Putin. Thousands have gathered again in the center of St. Petersburg. They are again demonstrating for the release of opposition politician oh, Alexei Navalny. Ahead of the protest, the authorities cordoned off many areas of the city center. For many people here, this is the first time they have ever attended a protest. Until recently, they didn't care about Alexei Navalny. But his Who is Alexei Navalny? Navalny. Who is that guy? And many are also I'm sorry guys, I don't know nothing about what's going on, but tell me where is that, what, what they are protesting, why they are protesting for that guy. They showed up even though organizers didn't receive a permit for the protests from the authorities. Firstly, our elites, our authorities are deeply lying. Secondly, I'm against corruption and thirdly, I'm against political Okay, his, they are against uh, pr uh, um, should be pr presidents, maybe. They are against uh, corruption in what's going on in the country. Not because of the immediate change of government. I'm here fighting to ensure that we are not deceived. In the run-up to the demonstrations, police across the country attempt to intimidate activists and journalists. Some were even arrested. Lyubov Sobol oh. was one of them. They she arrest the like journalists too. The face of the Russian opposition after Navalny. Sobol is a member of Navalny's NGO, the Anti-Corruption Foundation, which published a now famous video nearly two weeks ago. In it, Navalny exposes a palace allegedly belonging to President Putin. According to the opposition politician, it was built with money oh. from corruption. Navalny's video already has more than 100 million hits. Even Russian state television has been forced to address his allegations. They are claiming the building doesn't really belong to Putin. Instead, they say it's a hotel which is still under construction and that it's owned by one of Russia's richest businessmen, Arkady Rottenberg. The time for the Kremlin is up. I feel that. The Kremlin's policies don't reflect reality. Like a week ago, the police are cracking down on this demonstration. Once again, many people are being arrested here in St. Petersburg and in other cities throughout Russia. It's a display of force from a state determined to end these protests. Well, for the latest from the Russian capital, we're joined by... Trying to understand what's Emily going on. Sherwin. Hi, Emily. Now, you've been following the protests uh, all day. What is the situation right now like in Moscow? Well, the protests have now I know that this video was a long time ago, uh, so I'm sorry if uh, I reacted to it very late. 
It's about like this video, maybe uh, about one week, two weeks. City today, the city center, um, seven, several metro stations, initially seven, and then later on, several more uh, were closed across the city. Um, buses were redirected. Uh, roads were blocked off by police. There was a huge police presence. Um, and that uh, sort of closure of part of the city was really uh, oh. much wider, what much broader than we've seen in the past. And the other thing was governments governments are always bad men are always evil they treat like their own people they treat the citizens like uh, like shit they treat and they treat them bad because they want they were writing to protesters um, where to go next whenever a uh, one meeting place became unavailable or there were it's loads so of bad that how they there. treat they people man the only and at one point we saw uh, just how big the crowd was as they were moving back towards the center really it seemed hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people were they don't want to the people uh, can talk they don't want uh, people to, to express the themselves they risked, um, being and uh, the talk well, about their things, about their the rights, about, was, of course, this about their of money, about the corruption of the country. Man. Some of the figures that uh, it's into the thousands of arrests. Why is it that people governments are poisons? I think, came I think everyone who came to this protest today and also the protest last week knew that it wasn't authorized uh, by the authorities here. They knew that uh, there had been last week you know, there was a pretty uh, big crackdown on the opposition here already, so everyone knew the risk that they were taking. Many of the people that I spoke to today said that Alexei Navalny was not the actual reason that they came out. In a way, he was he was more of a catalyst for them. So yes, they were calling for his release, but in a way, he's become kind of a, sig uh, a symbol of the fact that there isn't, as they say here, as the protesters say, a rule of law um, in Russia. Many people I spoke to said they're just fed up with the corruption in the ruling elite here, and they want a better True. life. They were complaining about the economic. True. This is well, what I, this uh, is what I see. Russians, they, 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 they have everything, but they have a lot of. Uh, I think they have a lot of corruption in the country because Russians are beautiful and smart and they work hard and uh, all they want is very, uh, very good life. Uh, very like 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 it's in Europe, like it's in Germany, in Sweden, in Finland, and uh, the Russians are big country rich of everything rich of oil rich uh, of all the me metals all kind of all kind of energy they have everything in russia man but they want to live a better life because they have uh, they have little bit c corrupted uh, uh, government so like this is what the uh, russians they want they want a better life. They want no stealing happens in behind 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 the you know behind the scenes that happens you know, with the government. I know that uh, the government they are blood suckers. They they suck blood of the people, the money of the people. So people are getting are, are getting tired. They, they want change. Yeah. So this is my reaction to this video, if you like the video, don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe and give me your opinion about this video in the comment. Let's talk about this, let's talk what's going on, what's the solution for this and stuff like this. So thank you so much for recommending this video guys, I will see you in the next video. Take